Hi boys! Today we're making elder flowers. So if you want to make it too, the first step is pick the elder flowers. So let's Banana. go. So an elder flower grows in like a bush or a tree, and this is what it looks like. To elderflower, you have to wait and let it dry for two to three days. After you've done that, you can make the juice. So we'll see you guys then. Now we're in our kitchen and we're just going to put these down on the newspaper to let them dry. Okay, here we go. Try and keep them a bit apart from each other so they can dry properly. Some of these are really good, some of these are You want to follow? Yeah, just do that. So now we're, we've put these down to let them dry. And when they finish drying, this is, this is what they're going to look like. Dried. Not dried. Now we're going to show you the ingredients of the juice. So you'll need 10 to 12 dried elderflowers. You'll need two squeezed lemons, a few lemon slices. You could have a tablespoon of honey and you could add as much as you want depending on your flavor. And after you have to put all of these ingredients in here and fill up this big jug. It will take approximately five liters. First, before you add any of the ingredients, you need to make sure that your big jug has been washed beforehand. So, I want to start with the lemon juice first. Zoop. Then, you add the dry flowers. Nope. And zoop. Such a lot of honey. It's one tablespoon. Yes, it still looks like a lot. A lot. Water time now. Okay, so let's add it. Be careful with this. Splash it. Okay, I don't need to do that. Ooh, it's filling up. Last one. There we go. Now we have to mix it a bit. Mix, mix, mix. You want to do some? Okay. Now we have to add the lid. You don't actually have to put it on. You just have to put it on top. So don't push down on it, just keep it like that. So now we have to leave it for about two days. So we'll see you guys then. Bye. Hey guys. So it's been two days and the elderflower has set. And now you need to sieve the juice to make sure that no elderflower is left. And then you can put them into glass bottles, and keep them in the fridge for as long as you would like. So we've finished making the juice and it's now been poured into our glasses. We're going to try it. Mm, I like it. It has a bit of spark to it. I like it too. Mm. I hope you liked this video. If you did, like and subscribe and I'll see you next time with my brother too. Bye! Bye.